Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Yes. You are knowing what you are wanting? For now? <laughs> for now. Do you always know what you are wanting? Do you always know what you are wanting forevermore? But do you always know what you are wanting? It's a trick question. You can't win with this. <laughs> the reason that we are playing with this just a little bit is because we're wanting to remind you that what knowing is, is being in vibrational alignment with something. Because when you're in vibrational alignment with it, it's manifesting around you. It's giving you proof of itself. So whatever you believe oh but knowing is even stronger than believing isn't it when you expect something when you really know it when you expect it to be wanted or unwanted then it bees and so law of attraction is just showing you again and again what you are expecting what you are believing what you are knowing but all of those words just mean what you are vibrationally equivalent to what you've been practicing so sometimes you feel a little tripped and and trapped because it feels to you like things are happening which then you are observing and coming to understand because of your observation of them when really it's the other way around it was the vibration first but because you came into beliefs without consciously coming into beliefs because you practiced vibrations without deliberately practicing vibrations sometimes you're not even aware of what you've been practicing until it shows up in some form and then it feels like it happened to you instead of that you created it you see and so we like to sort of establish that premise in the early stages of our conversation because you are the creator of your own reality and the reason that you are the creator of your own reality is because you are the perceiver of reality you are the one who perceives and therefore offers a vibration and therefore and these are the most important words that you will hear from us today or ever and therefore you establish a vibrational point of attraction sometimes your point of attraction is fleeting somebody just talked about it you focused on it for a little bit you didn't get too excited about it you didn't give it too much thought so it passed through your vibrational experience quickly but sometimes your parents were beating the drum of that when you were born and you heard it a lot and as you heard it and watched them demonstrate the reality of it because after all when they believe it they're living it and we want to remind you they're not believing it because they're living it they're living it because they're believing it but you came in later you didn't realize who got there first mom did you believe this before you lived it or did you live this before you believed it you never asked them those questions did you instead you observed what they were living and you noted that they believed it because they talked about it a lot wanted and unwanted and so then you sort of join the train of that and you begin observing and offering vibration and then manifesting and then believing so we come to you wanting to sort of shake you up a little bit and let you know that you could believe some other things other than what you are believing and you say really how's that so and we say well you could stretch beyond the boundaries of what is and you could believe futuristically you could believe that which has not manifested yet for you you could selectively sift in what you believe and only focus upon those things that you believe that feel good when you believe them that would be beneficial but what we're going to be talking about here today is what you're focusing on and therefore what your point of attraction is and therefore how you feel when you focus upon it and why you feel the way you feel when you focus upon it and then what to do about it if what you're focusing upon and how it feels 
doesn't please you and meanwhile you're just thinking yeah 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 how can I get the money I want <laughs> yeah 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 how can I get to the manifestation that I want and and we want you to come at it a different way we have a new analogy if you've been listening to us for a while it may not seem new to you but it's new enough that we want to give it to you here in case you haven't heard it because it will provide for you a very wonderful basis of everything else that's going to unfold in this discussion today Esther has a pond at the center in Texas and the water was getting cloudy more and more so more and more so until you couldn't see the fish she knew that it could be improved she didn't know what had caused it but she remembered when you could see the fish she remembered when the pond was clear and so people came and provided their opinions let's replace the filter which they did the pump and the filter it didn't change anything let's put clarifier into it which killed fish but didn't clear the water <laughs> so it was determined that the water was being drawn from the pond into the filter through pipes in the ground and it was being filtered but when the water was being put back into the pond those pipes were clogged completely clogged Texas has a very hard caliche soil becomes almost concrete like and those pipes were full of that so over time they just clogged up so they laid some new pipes on top of the ground just to see if that really would solve the problem and of course it did the pond cleared right up and so they buried the pipes and today the pond is very clear someone said you could see a nickel at the bottom and you could tell whether it was heads or tails and it's true the pond is clear again we want to suggest to you that you may want to lay some new pipes for yourself because you've been collecting debris in your pipes for a while little by little by little so gradually you didn't even know you were doing it but your pipes aren't clear and so sometimes and when your pipes aren't clear then even though you're asking you're asking for what you want and the universe is orchestrating and supplying the mechanism and the means and the direction for you to have whatever you want no exceptions if you are not in a vibrational state of allowing what you've asked for and what has been vibrationally prepared for you then when your filter your vortex pushes that desire toward your pond and your pipes are all clogged you say something's wrong and we say something is out of balance you've got beliefs that don't vibrationally match the desire so over time we've been talking to you we've been talking to you for a long time in fact started right here in Phoenix we've been talking to you about the vibrational nature of your being but most of our physical friends are not so interested in their vibrational nature and we want you to be intensely interested in your vibrational nature in fact there is nothing more important for you to be interested in than your vibrational nature because as you offer a vibration because you think a thought and you allow that thought to continue long enough 17 seconds that law of attraction joins it with another thought then a momentum begins that equals your point of attraction and literally absolutely unerringly everything that comes to you everything that you let into your experience is because of that vibrational pattern that you have established and practiced and perfected now all the time that that's happening you are sifting through the variety of your life perceiving concluding opinionating and all of that is good and as you come to your perceptions as you sift and sort I know what I don't want I know what I do want you launch these vibrational rockets that don't manifest 
instantaneously because they don't have enough momentum they are rockets that are not practiced by you very often they're rockets that you shoot out in the middle of exploration of variety and contrast it isn't until you practice that thought that you establish a strong enough point of attraction or a strong enough momentum that it becomes dominant in your experience so there are two things that are happening to you all day every day you are establishing momentum without knowing you are you are launching rockets and establishing momentum but you are also offering contradiction to that vibration that is disallowing the momentum that you've established of coming to you do you see what we're getting at here's an easier way of understanding it we'll be brief here because we know you've heard some of this before but we want to lay this basis because what comes next as we play together will be revolutionary for you if we can make this point with you if you can listen to the vibrational law based beginning in these few minutes that we visit then everything that we talk about here today will be crystal clear for you and everything that ever happens in your life again or doesn't happen in your life again to you or anyone else will be understood by you it is our promise to you if you understand this very simple law-based premise you are going to be free to be the deliberate creator of your experience in just the way you expected when you made the decision to come so you were source energy before you came into this physical body and even though a part of that consciousness focused into this magnificent physical body that is you that larger part that is you that source energy part that God force part remains non physically focused and is available to you and flowing to you all day every day but your pipes might be clogged and you might not be letting it flow on this subject and this subject and this subject oh you might let it flow relative to this that you've practiced but you're not letting it flow relative to this that you've practiced in a different way so source knows who you are and what you want and is flowing consciousness and direction and impulses and love and energy and power and invincibility pouring that all to you the question is are you in a vibrational place that you are receiving it or not so over time we've broken this into three steps we want you to understand that you're sifting through the contrast and you're asking all day every day that's step one ask for what you prefer step two is not your work step two is the source within you your inner being that larger non-physical part of you becomes the vibrational equivalent of what you have asked for in the moment that you ask for it and each thing that you ask for later each amendment to desire that you offer goes into this spinning vortex we want to demonstrate it here in this pure high vibration goes into this spinning vortex and in that high flying pure positive energy vortex all that you have asked for already is in other words that larger part of you has become it now this is where our physical friends get freaky because it is so annoying to hear that everything that you want already is because you want it to be is right here where you is you want it to be here where you be you don't want it to be off in some nebulous non-physical ghost-like atmosphere we get that but we just want you to know that the steps to the process are you ask and it becomes vibrationally first and then you must find a way to be a vibrational equivalent to what you're asking for but you don't do that easily because you've been practicing your observation of what is with such intensity and with so much drama and trauma and with so many people telling you can't you see what is can't you see what is can't you see what is that it's hard for you to hear someone like us say never mind what is instead of noticing what is let what is have been the bouncing off place for what really is and now you try to find vibrational alignment with what really is and then it will really 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 be what is